Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. In the last episode we got uh, a lot of stuff done over at our uh, iron smelting plant. We got coal going over there, delivered over there. And we also got uh, sulfur research starting either last episode or the episode before, I don't remember. And I, as usual, forgot to check the map, so let's do that. We have analyzed sulfur. Percentage of sulfur in compounds is acceptable and can be extracted safely to create gunpowder-based explosives. The derived milestone can be found in Tier 4. Further research required for more precise use. Okay, very nice. Nobody spots that. I have no idea. Okay, we'll find out. This is some of the new stuff, so this is getting a little bit exciting. But uh, we have some raw quartz somewhere, so let's... Uh, Stick that in there. And where is the raw quartz? Is it over here? Doesn't look like it, then it's over here. Uh, I definitely picked up some raw quartz. Uh, bauxite, deuterium. Not there. Okay, there. Sort it. No. No. Well, it has to be here, right? Oh, there it is. Uh, so let's grab that, stick it in the MAM, and get that research going. And stick it back in here. And how long did it take? Uh, oh, I didn't start it. Well done. 15 minutes. And we're analyzing. There it is. And let's go have a look at the milestones, because we haven't actually looked at them for a while. So we have alternate for screws, which is very nice. We need 50 iron ingots for that. We definitely can get that. Uh, very, very nice. We will be using that recipe. Uh, so, let's see, over here there's nothing new, over here there's nothing else new. Materium technology, we need to research that at some point very soon, so we can scan for Caterium ore and get Blade Runners. We really want those. Ooh, and five extra inventory slots will also be very useful. So, we need to get that done. And then tier 4, we have ooh, explosives. Another five and sulfur scanner update so yeah we have a lot of a lot of stuff to to unlock but today we are not going to be unlocking anything i think because today we are going to go and uh, set up the iron uh, plate production which i still want to call iron smelting uh, but before we run over there, I think I forgot to show you in the last episode. Uh, it's, it's not that impressive really, but uh, it's something that happened that you haven't seen. So let's just go quickly take a look. There's one of our tractors. And just see here. So over here. We have the coal coming up being stored in a container and going back down now this is temporary there will be way more <laughs> containers and they will be uh, uh, i think they will be uh, big ones so we have the coal coming up there and going down there for pickup to feed the trucks over at the truck station over there with the iron plate uh, iron, or not iron plate, iron smelting. Oh, yeah. Well, that's that. Now you've seen it. So I will go over and start building our new base where we found a good location for it last time. And then I'll be right back. So see you in a few minutes. Or a few seconds, actually. Uh, and not a few minutes for me. This will take 
a lot of time to build, but that is what it is. That's the fun part, right? So uh, I'll go build that and see you in a second, guys. All right, so we are back and I have to be doing a little building for the better part of the last hour. I have built this tiny little building right here. So let's go up and, uh, and take a look at it. Yeah, I should have a ramp here. Oh, I took it down. Let's build that again. There. Down here, we're going to have constructors. Mm -hmm. And they are going to be making iron plate, as we talked about. So we're going to need 15 of these to pull one full uh, Mark IV belt. So 15 of those we'll set up. On the next floor, up here, we will have our storage. Whoops. So this will be the storage area. And if we go down again, whoops. And do another jump. Up here, we'll have our truck stations. And let's build a couple of truck stations right now. So we will have the one here, something like that. And one side will be the input, and one side will be the output. So we have one full, just over one full. So let's build the other one over here. Wait, like, I think it'll be like, that right yeah that looks about right and we'll have I think we'll have input over here and output over here so that's the truck station set up we need some power to come up here uh, let's see we can build a power pole there, there, still encroaching. This is encroaching that. Now we can't jump down, but we can if we just build. Uh, let's see, just come out here and build those again. It was a two meter and, and one meter, like that. And then we can get a power pole up here. There. And then I want power poles in the corners. And here. Here. And here. So now we can connect these up. Dang it. Missing cable. All right. Let's jump down and make some cable. Mm. I have a crafting bench here somewhere, I think. Did I delete it? 
I believe it. Okay. Let's make a new one. Uh, craft bench. And make some cable, 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 cable. Let's make like 50 or something. Leave a uh, hundred uh, wire. Hundred, fine. Uh, e. Send that again and go back up. There we go. And we need to hook that up to that and that up. Nope. Uh, let's see, I took the corner one, so let's just do that again. That. Alright, so these are hooked up. This will be unloading. And this over here will be loading. Come on. Uh, Alright. That works. So they will be coming in from the other side uh, and going out this side and that's the way it's gonna be so let's um, let's go down and make some constructors let's set them up the way we want it what we have no we don't uh, production instructor uh, on seven so see we would have input here so let's build it like this i have no idea what that's lining up with but it's fine and there's only one input, so it do we don't need a massive amount of clearance, and only one output. Three, four, five, six. Uh, let's just do these for now, just so uh, you get the idea, because I also want to get the vehicle going uh, to bring stuff in, right? So we need logistics, we need... Uh, let's just put these on 8 and 9. And do like this. The last one for now. Hook these guys up. We're of course we're, we're gonna enclose this entire building in uh, the silver stuff. Uh, the silver walls, or whatever color they are. And colorblind, so you can not count on me when it comes to colors. Right, so we have the inputs there. Let's set up the mergers. Right here, and we'll come up that way too. This, there will, it will be a roll of 15 machines, but right now we'll just do these guys. And so I can output. We don't have belts that can do all 15 of them anyway, so we might as well just do this just to get some production going and to 
see that the concept works. Alright. So there we go. And over here in... We want the... Uh, I think we'll put the conveyor lifts outside. The outside, yeah. Like that idea. So... Let's just build a foundation here for now, just to help us find the height. And so we need to come down here. And let's see, it should be right in the middle, I think. Let's do a wall. Doesn't really matter which one. Here and build a conveyor lift that will come down to there. We can delete that again. And we need, we actually need to get it down from up above. But here we'll have um, storages, so let's just build a couple of those. And they need to up that way. It's there. It's a little bit annoying. The the conveyor balls they just don't work. They just don't work. Actually, it does work up here. And what we could do is it looks a little bit weird, but you know, let's get a wall, make it the right color. Put that there. Or we need to build that foundation down there again. There. And stick the conveyor lift on there. It won't work at the bottom floor, but it's fine. Build the storage containers. Like this, I think. And just make one gap in between. We just build two for now, just to see that it works, right? Something like that. Like that. And all the way down at the other end, we need to have... Uh, I'm coming in here, so... Let's just... Build a conveyor pole there. Uh, the input will be coming in over from that side. We could pull it over up there. But that's impractical because of the trucks. So what we'll do is... We'll build it over here. And build a no, not a wall. We don't need a wall here. And have it come out like this, and run all the way over to that. And don't fall over the edge. be something like that maybe I think that's right let's just build a pool here that's right in the middle it is it looks right it looks absolutely right all 
come up to here. And continue down. Eventually this will all be <laughs> containers, right? But uh, for now, we'll just put the belt in. There we go. And let's jump back down. And jump up. Because... Why is... Man... I did not do this right. I'll fix that in a second. I want them to be uh, across from each other, right? So over here, in this corner, we need a conveyor wall. Foundation there. Bring that down. Oh, I forgot to check that it was the right direction before. I really hope it was, so we don't have to do it all over again. Remove that. Remove these two. And. Let's just go down here. So basically the plan is that one of these, with the trucks coming into it, will fill one 450 uh, material belt, right? So we need it here. Uh, vehicles, truck station. There, I think. That looks right. And this was... This is unloading then. So this is loading. I think I did it the other way around. Uh, nope, that's unloading. And this is loading. <coughs> um... I'm doing something wrong. Uh, so here, we have the materials coming down to the production area. And then the raw product will be done down at the other end, go out and come up. Uh, I'm confused. So, what did I set this up as? Unloading. Okay. So, raw product will be going down. So, this needs to be loading. And this needs to be unloading. No. Yes. Unloading and loading because the raw product we want to go down there and then we want it to come up down there as well. Is that right? I think it's right. It's gonna have to be right. That. not look like a 90 degree angle. That looks much nicer. Okay. This is straight. Yeah. What we could do is reverse the output. So if we have output at one end and input at the other, that might actually be a very good idea. 
So this is output sending down um, system down here sending down or dang it jump there so it's sending or down here and sending it on down the production line All right this is input right no oh, this is output no oh, this is input what have I done uh, this is all going this way so we need to reverse one of them, I think. And that one isn't even the right way either. So, but let's just test this because this won't go in there, no. So, oh, this is getting complicated, guys. Uh, Oh man. Yeah, let's build this again because we need to rebuild this no matter what. This is input. So these need to go the other way. Which means we need to replace all of this. And these are built with input that way, right? Yeah, it's there. All right, so input splitters, and they need to go this way. So, like that. In the right spot, I don't think it did. Did it? That did. All right. So splitters. There. 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 And get the belts in. Let's just do these while we're here. Like so that one needs to be redone. Okay, so that's input, and the output is going the same way, which is a little bit annoying. Do I want the output to be down here, or do I want it to be down at the other end? I think I want it to be down at the other end. So let's just get it going down there. There we go. There we go. And we need a wall conveyor thing there. And then we need to go up and hook that up so actually I 
think I'd like to do it because this was the output, right? The input will be coming over on this side, which means the output will be over on that side, which means that we need to come a little bit further and come around like that. jump up top or one level up at least so well, that's the output from this line hmm I really hope I'm doing this right it would suck to have to do it all over again all right so This is wrong because we want uh, let's think. This needs to go and be rebuilt. Like that. Kill that and then stick the belt in there good and this input going to be coming from over here we can delete all of this As well and we need another wall conveyor thingy there a couple of foundations we're running out of uh, concrete which is not great and we will Actually, it's going to be coming down here, going over there, so we don't need this one here, but we do need a foundation here, just to see the, um, the height. All right. So, so far, so good. And let's go one up. This is going there and down, that's right. And let's go one up. And this is then input, no unloading. And this over here will be loading man I missed this so so much up it's crazy uh, this will be loading which means that we need to take all of this stuff out again as well and over here Conveyor wall right there. Build a foundation here. It should be right, yeah. And four there. Go down. There. Delete that. Delete that. And over here, we don't actually need this one. 
but we can make the rest of it, um, or most of the rest of it, we can make ready. So that. Going to need to go get more concrete. You know what, I'm gonna fin finish this up real quick and then I will be back in a second. Uh, see you in a second, guys. Okay, so we're back and I think I have everything set up so that it'll work. It uh, took a little while, not too bad, but a little while. And we have the output of iron plate coming here, going into this uh, truck station. We have the input of iron ore or iron ingots coming down there, going in here, or uh, coming from here and going down there. And yeah. So that is pretty good. So it's time to try and set up our uh, tra tractor. And I have made materials enough to do that. One thing I've forgotten is that I'm going to need some fuel. So let's hope I have some coal on me. I do not. I do have some fuel though, biofuel. Should we do that? Let's just do biofuel uh, for now. Uh, just to get it going and then I'll fix that later. So, biofuel, hopefully it will be enough to get us over there and back again. So, let's drive the tractor. Start recording and go. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, let's just get off and cancel that because they will be coming in from that direction and going out here. So, yeah. It's a good idea to get that right. So, Q, tractor. Where's the thing? Put you there. What the hell? I told you to build. Okay, put you there. That is the wrong direction. Darn it. Uh, okay. It's kind of hard to see what the right direction is on this. Sometimes. For me. I'm sure not everyone has that problem. Alright, so there. Stick in the fuel again. Jesus, we used two just for that. Uh, Alright, see, start recording and go. Here is our path down. And let's see, can we go this way? I think we can. come in on this uh, path as well which is a little bit dangerous but it is what it is you know what we're gonna do instead of this it's just a uh, clear path and go up here and pick up some coal Your path. And oh crap, did I just pick up a ton of coal? Ah. Oh, no. No, I did. They're full. Good. Okay, let's drive this baby. We're gonna go against the traffic. And we're gonna go over here first and start over at the over here at the iron uh, smelting plant so we we'll come up here there and 
see. Start recording. Go. Come on up here. And hopefully we won't fall over an edge here. Nope. But it was close. Uh, and turn around. Come through here. This way, that rock is a little bit in the way, but we do have explosive now, so maybe we can fill it. Come up here. Hopefully, it has enough power to get up here. Oh, it's struggling a little bit. And unloading is on the left-hand side. So we will go over here. Oh, I like that actually, because there will be more. So there, unload. And continue on. And I think instead of going over there, because that area is going to be congested enough. Let's go this way. We can get through here. Fine, we have plenty of coal on us. Whoa! That should not be fine. <laughs> okay. I guess we need to fix that up a little bit. Oh, we need to go up here. But it is going. So uh, finish recording, hide path nodes, get off, and what did we not enable? Autopilot. Uh, enable autopilot. Go, go, go. Off he goes. And let's see what happens. Could be coming down here. I'm gonna get this out of my hand. I'm gonna take a screenshot, not right now, maybe, but over here. Here it comes. And it should be full on coal as well. These two are crossing paths a little bit, which is a bit dangerous, so we might need to make a bridge for one of them. We can do that. Go, go, go. Run, forest! Go, 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 go! I want to see it. up there yet? I guess he's almost up there. Hopefully he will unload a bunch of stuff. Oh, there he comes. And has he unloaded a bunch of stuff? Yes, he has. Is it moving? No, it's not. Why is it not moving? It's not going on the conveyor. Crap. 
Uh, okay. Let's try that again. Need to cannibalize this a little bit. I think that's enough. Uh, move that. And four. I forgot to build the uh, foundation. Yes. Excellent. Uh, move that. Move that. We'll jump down here and then we will place it. Pick this up. And there we go. We have iron ingots coming in. Alright. So here they come. Going in and getting stored up. Slowly but surely, we are getting iron plates. Move that. And the concept works. So, very nice. I am happy. Oh, so happy. This took a long time. I've basically been recording for two and a half hours now to, to get this done. So, uh, yeah, it takes a while. But it's fun. So um, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Next time we will get the output going over to our central storage over there in the distance. And get it stored up where it's supposed to be stored up. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and maybe subscribe. And I will see you next time.